Hi everyone, Andrew here for Abilie Reviews, and today we are covering how to complete a data delivery mission. So what is a data delivery mission? It's very similar to any other transportation mission that you can find on the mission board. You can see here we're under transportation. Uh, many of them do require you to take like actual cargo, things that are like uh, different goods like wine or, or minerals or whatever it is. But data delivery missions are different, and they're really nice if you're just getting started. So a data delivery mission does not require any cargo space. It's just stored on your ship's computer, and that's really helpful because if, you if you're just getting started out, maybe you don't have a lot of space in your, your ship to really carry a lot of goods, um, or maybe your ship isn't really designed to be a hauler. Maybe you're interested in combat, but you still want to raise your rank um, with a certain faction, or you want to just get some money. Uh, so that's where data delivery missions come in. And we can see here uh, the Federal Navy and needs a courier, someone to take some information from one spot to another. Uh, and this one has 23 hours remaining. They need us to go to a certain starport and get that thing turned in. And it's only about 10 light years away, which is lovely. So we're going to go ahead and accept that mission. Perfect. Let's accept it. Now, this is what's kind of fun. So we are not in the right ship for this. Uh, so if we get out of here, I'm gonna need to go to the shipyard and change ships. So we're gonna do that real quick. And let's switch over to something with a nice jump range. There we go. Okay, moving on. Now all we have to do is launch and head towards the destination of our mission. So we're gonna go ahead and hit auto launch. And while that's happening, I'm going to look over here in my list of missions, and I can see that here. And we need to head to Walanga Gama <laughs> uh, system. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun, and then we're looking for Furrier City. So first things first, let's get out of this station, and let's get our destination marked. So sometimes it's fun to actually go to the mission and then you go over here to this uh, galaxy view and you can see exactly where it is. So we're gonna go ahead and mark that and look at that, we can do it in one jump. That is lovely, I love a nice simple mission. So let's go ahead and close that. Uh, we can see here again, the, the mission provider needs us to get to a certain part. So we're gonna leave this station and we'll start flying away. Now for me, my my jump button is, is J, but you can just as easily, once you leave mass lock in the right hand corner there, you can see if we boost away, we'll probably get out of this space. Perfect, mass lock is off. We go over to our navigation panel, turn on our systems, and we should see our mission system in blue highlighted. And let's do engage hyper drive. And we can go ahead and get in line with the uh, the location we're heading towards. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and make our jump. I think these are always so cool. Really do love that. Really do love that. Looks like we just received a mission. Time bonus. Uh, optional time. 31 minutes left. We'll get an additional 135,000 credits. Heck yes. So now that we're here, we need to deliver it to a certain location. So let's go ahead and mark that. Turn on our super cruise assist and line up with this next location. Now here's the deal though. This mission did have some danger to it, so it's possible we might have to run or fight. Um, ideally, I would rather just run to get the mission completed in our time limit, uh, but we'll have to keep that in mind as we enter this space. It's also possible they won't notice us, notice us at all, and we will have no problem getting there, and everything will be great. But you never do know. What's really lovely is it's not that far away, only... Uh, 900 light seconds <laughs> so we'll uh we'll head that way now so while we are in transit carrying our data um 
I just want to take a moment to thank all of you that stopped by and have commented recently. It's been really fun for us to make these videos and, and kind of do deep dives into this, uh, this game. Uh, we've really enjoyed it, and it's, it's just been sort of a, a great way to spend um, this time. So thank you for stopping by, thank you for watching this video, and thank you for your lovely comments. Um, and yeah, so anyways, back to the game. Uh, if you are just starting out in Elite Dangerous and you do have additional questions, do feel free to throw those in the comments. Um, or if you would like to see sort of a getting started video, that's been something we've kind of talked about. We do have an uh, introduction video that just kind of goes through the game. Uh, but if you're new, sometimes even somebody giving you an introduction is really great, but you may not know what to do when you're actually starting, getting your, your sort of hands on the, on the trigger, as it were. Uh, so if you think that would be something helpful, uh, you know, feel free to let us know and we can we can consider making a video that kind of goes through starting um, as just a, a starting pilot with a little sidewinder ship and kind of building your way up. I think um, I think the reason why I bring that up is a mission like this is actually a really great way to kind of get a good feel for for sort of the mechanics of this game. You learn how to accept a mission, uh, you learn how to sort of navigate the stars. Uh, you know how you learn how to dock, uh, turn in a mission, and then navigate around the galaxy. All of that stuff is is sort of great foundational knowledge um, to sort of have a good time in Elite Dangerous. Then once you sort of understand those basics of just getting around, right, figuring out where your uh, where your homeroom is, uh, you can then branch out into combat, trading. Um, there's a ton of first-person shooting missions and like smuggling and all kinds of really wild stuff you can do in this game. You can even get be a tourist. Or, I'm sorry, not a tourist. You can give tours. You can have people. That was really pretty. You can have people uh, that you give tours around the galaxy with. You know what? So far, this has been a lovely little trip. Nobody gave us any problems. We're going to go ahead and get closer to this location. And, and like always, you cannot dock the location until you get past the 7.5 marker, which we are, and we can see here. Uh, now we're getting in. Um, so that's perfect. Oh, oh no. There's not a landing pad large enough for us. This is something I did not consider. So our ship is too big. Uh-oh. So that's always something you should consider when you come to these places. And this is, I'll kind of show you what I mean. Um, Furrier City has, you can learn about it, right? We have an allied relationship. I must have helped them out or worked with them or something. But our landing pad says no. Oh, goodness. And then let's see if this other one works. Also no. So that means we're going to have to run all the way back, get into a different ship, and then try to deliver our goods. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause right here, and then through the magic of movie magic, we'll switch into a different ship. And just like that, we are back with a ship that can fit in this station. So we're gonna go ahead and request docking. And then of course, make sure to slow down so that way our our auto dock can kick in because no point in messing it up at the end here. We went through all that trouble. And I always like to hear the classical music. This is a nice little station. Just a fun little, spa little space station out here in space just floating around. So as you can see, we're going to go ahead and land, and then we'll dock at this station. And then all we have to do is turn in our, our mission, our, our data, and we will be paid. Simple as that. Docking successful. All right, we'll refuel. Everything else looks good here. From there, you can see again, the mission board has that blue check mark. You go for the blue section here. Just basically follow the colors all the way. As we wait for standby to finish, we go to our completed mission, select our courier mission. For me, we're gonna take some reputation. 
Perfect. Look at that. We're now part of the Federal Navy. Excellent. And uh, because we're here, we might as well go to the contact section, see if we can turn anything in. And look, we have a bounty. Perfect. So let's get that turned into. Perfect. Uh, but essentially, that is is it. Uh, you Again, you go to the missions board, you go to the transportation section, and you look for the data transfer one. So not here with the uh, number of units, but more of a courier. So we can see here, if we look at this internal report delivery, uh, this data is stored on your computer. So it's just another one we can take. Uh, so make sure to check these out. Try these types of missions when you're getting started. I think you'll find that it's far easier than having to deal with commodities and all of that stuff, especially as a new player. You may not have that kind of space. But if you have any other questions, please feel free to put those in the chat, and we'll get to them right away. Thanks again for stopping by.